the views expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of WPSL. However, you are urged to like and share them on Facebook because it's time for the Sue Ellen Sanders Show with Sue Ellen Sanders. Welcome to the Sue Ellen Sanders Show, and we're glad you're here. Uh, I had some people that are on my show today, and um, Sonia Dupree is... uh, somebody who's been here before in the studio and she has uh, an organization called end it and uh, that show uh, produced that that organization produced a show called dad Play meaning the audience walks through the different scenes that are already set up, and it was very successful. We sold out of every show that we did, and then from there we um, we transitioned it into a stage play, which we performed at the Sunrise Theater um, a couple of times last year, and it did very well. We also had the opportunity; we were invited down to Broward County to perform it as well for the Human Trafficking Coalition down there. So um, that was kind of our breakout show breakout performance with daddy and um i think it really opened a lot of eyes as to um the fact that this is actually happening in the united states and even here in our county and and it is and i remember initially hearing about the show and then having you and officer danny on the show talking about it and thinking to myself well this is probably something that happens in big cities. We right. don't have to worry about it here. And it wasn't a month after you all were on the radio mm-hmm. with me that there was a, a, a ring that was busted yes. uh, on the Treasure Coast. And, you know, since then, you know, here's the thing. People will hear about a show like this mm-hmm. um, or they'll read about something that all of a sudden you start paying attention yes. to the things that are in the news every day and all across the country. And whether you're in a big city like Miami or New York City or Chicago or whether you're in a smaller city like Port St. Lucie or Fort Pierce, mm-hmm. equal opportunity for taking advantage of people, I'm so, I'm really sad to say. So, exactly. Um, you have two um, actors, participants with yes. your new show that are here with you today. And um, they are Tiana Augusta and Eric Howard. And um, they are both here to talk about your new show. So, so you took the subject matter, one of the big subjects that was something that you your kids, your group, your troop yes. felt that was needed to be discussed and that was human trafficking and produced the show Daddy. And then then what happened? Now now you guys sat around and said, What else do we need <laughs> to talk about? Is that it? Yes. Yeah, so um, our team as a whole, like we um a lot of people because they heard about us through Daddy Um, thought that that was all we did um, was human trafficking while that does need to be addressed and um, it was very successful we in general handle topics that affect teens so what we want to do is create a production or a show skit Um, we've done spoken word we've done a lot of different things to bring to light different issues that affect teens so our next topic that we took on was teen dating abuse or teen dating violence 
Okay. And uh, Eric, you want to talk a little bit about that? I, I know um, that both you and Tiana are in the show and, and part of the production process of it. Uh, how did that, so you decided that you wanted to take on teen dating violence and then what was the next step? What, what happened next? Well, then we had to figure out how we were going to, you know, produce a show like this. So we all sit around a table and so she already wrote um, a broken chain a long time ago, right? Mm -hmm. And she said she, you know, she wanted to do it on a bigger scale. So what we did was we sat down with, you know, original scripts, and then we went down and we were like, okay, this needs to be, you know, you know, updated, and this needs to be updated because you know it's not, it's not, you know, it's we're in 2018 now. Different stuff kind of happens, and I love talking about this stuff because you know it's usually no one wants to talk about this stuff. And end it, you know, like, okay, we're going to throw it in your face. Here, boom. You know? <laughs> and then it gets people, because I had no idea, like, human trafficking was a thing. Why would someone want to do that? Right. And then I see it on stage. I'm like, this stuff really happens. Yes. You know? Yeah. And I was really, you know, surprised by it. And and I was like, I love this. I want to be a part of this. And I had no idea. End it did it. And I just happened, you know, to be here today with End it, you know, doing it. And I love it. So so that has come full circle as well. So it was originally the show that, that Sonia had that the the germ of the show that it the beginnings of it. Yes. Um and then it grew into something that you guys turned into a stage production that uh you're a part of and you're acting uh, and then you know before the show, we were talking for a little bit in the lobby, and we were talking about how um, how it, it's important that those of us who are your elders and know better, we like to tell teenagers what to do, and we not we like to tell everybody what to do, whether they're our teenagers or somebody else's teenagers, uh, or even if they're you know five years old. It's a lot of fun to tell other people what yes. to do, yes. and we think that we know everything, yes. right? And that we've earned it, and it's we've earned it. We've earned the right, but sometimes, more often than not, it doesn't break through with as much clarity as when teenagers tell other teenagers what to do. Absolutely. And I see Tiana nodding here. Yeah. So tell us some more about that. Um, it's one thing for an adult to tell you something, um, but it's a whole nother story when it's someone who knows your story and they're a teenager as well, so they, they see it happening, they're in it, and they have a perspective to actually tell you, don't do this, don't do that. But, you know, when an adult tells you, you kind of feel like, oh, you don't know what's going on. Like, you're old. You've never even <laughs> experienced this. But when it's your friend, you're like, okay, so y you know what's going on. And for them to tell you that's so wrong, you see it in a different way. And you're like, you, you actually think about it then. Uh -huh. Yeah, do. so it's, it's, it's really good for us to be telling teens, you know, watch out for this and keep your eyes open. And it's much better than having an adult tell a teenager a story that they – can't really tell us and we won't feel like there's a connection and we won't feel like we can actually take their advice because as adults and i shouldn't even put me myself and sonia in the same category because we're of different generations but we're we're of the generation where we we're not teenagers bottom exactly. line bottom and line. yeah and we don't speak teenage mm -hmm. and when we do we sound really stupid right. and we do they it wrong spot an imposter a <laughs> yeah. mile away they won't <laughs> they won't deal with it <laughs> like when i try to say something that's teenage not, that's with it sounding um <laughs> like in text or something my daughter just sends a text back no mom <laughs> just no <Stop. laughs> So I, I understand where we're coming from here, and, and that has, uh, it worked well for Daddy, and it works well for A Broken Chain, which, by the way, um, the first uh, production of the A Broken Chain, and I'm saying first because I know you guys, this is scheduled for Friday, June 20th. July. July 20th. Yes. I'm sorry. June's already passed. Yes. <laughs> Friday, <laughs> July 20th. 
um, at 7 p.m., but it'll just be the first time it's being done as a fundraiser um, and as a production. Well, actually, you're going to do it earlier that day for camps and yes. field trips for free. Yes, for um, area summer camps. They can come for free with advanced tickets, so they would just need to contact us and um, you know reserve tickets, come pick them up. And then, uh, yeah, they can come at 1 p.m. for free because we want to make sure that the teens and the, the youth get the information. And there is a caveat that you do recommend ages 12 and up. Yes, that is the recommended age. Um, we did have with Daddy, um, we had a couple of groups that brought younger kids. Um, that's up to discretion, you know, and parents' discretion. Um, I understand that um, the exposure and sometimes the experiences of, of youth are different you know, and, and age isn't quite um, a stickler. So we leave that up for discretion, but we do recommend um, at least age 12 and up. Mm -hmm. And you sometimes, if you're bringing the whole family and there's two teenagers that you want to see this, but you also have maybe like a 10-year-old or something like yes. that, you know. Absolutely. We're not going to leave her in the car. <laughs> we'll right, right. <laughs> or not come. Yeah, That's yeah. even worse. Or yeah. not come for the whole family. Yeah. So um, the... Uh, show itself, A Broken Chain, will take place Friday, July 20th at the Sunrise. Uh, is it at the Black Box? No, it's in the theater. It's in the theater. Yes. So you have plenty of seats that are plenty available. Of seats, yes. And it's $15 uh, for seats, and uh, there's a $3 box office fee. Yes. Um, and it's going to be a fundraiser. So you have the ability, you could sell out the seats, yes. and then you would have the funds to be able to take the show on the road absolutely to take the show on the road to um we just moved into a new facility in may and um probably if you came to the daddy show you heard us saying we need our own place yes <laughs> yes at the end of that we need our own place we were kind of raising funds then but um that dream finally came into fruition and there are um you know a few more things we'd like to be able to do and to provide for the youth um for example, they we have a stage, but we want it what <laughs> we, want it we want it covered. <laughs> so um, yeah, <laughs> little things like that. But um, yeah, definitely we'd be able to take it on the road, um, impact more youth as well as um, take care of some more needs that we have in our new facility. And uh, beyond you know giving the youth that are part of end it something productive to do and giving them the skills to put on. A, a drama production uh, you're also giving them tremendous skills that they can use in school too that are speaking skills and communication skills and and knowing how to present issues that are social issues in a way to get people's reaction in a positive way so tell us the story uh, Tiana or Eric or both of you tell tell us the the story that a broken chain uh, tells then the drama on uh, teen dating violence. Um, so A Broken Chain is about a generation of families um, dealing with relationship violence and how it translates through the generations and it kind of is like a chain and you have to break it to get away from the violence or you could keep it going and just have it you know relapse through generations. And of course, you know, we're familiar with the cycle of abuse that is, you know, a, a, a chain that has to be broken. But what you don't think about, or you may not think about until you hear and see this show, is that that also translate into your teenagers' dating lives, too. It's not just, oh, this is what what's going to happen to my kids when they grow up and they get married. Um, they may react in a negative way, but even before then, um, if a mom was used to her boyfriends pushing her around and right. abusing her, then the kid, when he starts dating, is going to do this the same thing, unless somebody steps in to point it out, mm -hmm. and, and that can't, we know that, can't always be an adult. Right, exactly. And that's the, you know, the goals. One of the goals of this show is that, um, you know, teens will recognize it. Like she said, listening to each other. You know, this is um, all teens performing this. This is not adults up there saying, watch me, you know, teen pay attention. 
This is mm-hmm. uh, performed in uh, by teens for teens, and um, yeah, definitely it's the the um, Leilani is the character there who has this generation of um, of domestic violence, and you know it gets to the point where we um, the audience is able to see the signs, and you wonder if Leilani sees the signs, and um, she has to make a decision at that point whether to continue on or break it, and so. Um, we we love to take these shows out to the community because it's not like someone standing in front of you with a lecture, but they're actually learning and they don't even realize it mm-hmm. by watching the stage play without saying, you know, these are the signs on a PowerPoint, but we are, you know, acting it out in a way. It's very intentional. So um, show me, don't tell me. Exactly. So it's very intentional. It's Everything a, yeah. in there is very intentional. Well, that's great. Um, and... The, the the thing that you point out about your your main character Lilani is that it's not just the abuser that has a cycle that needs to be broken. It is the person that is the other side of the relationship. Uh, so so just to put you on the spot now, um, Tiana. So do you think? bad boys are more attractive than the nice guys? <laughs> um, honestly, I think good guys are more attractive. Because, um, I mean, who doesn't like a sweetheart? Who doesn't like to be treated nicely? Um, but, of course, there are people who kind of, they like the bad guy, you know? Um, You've watched enough movies. I've, probably, I've seen yeah. enough, <laughs> even um, in A Broken Chain. Yeah. Uh, one of our characters, she sees the abuse and she gets the idea okay, I'm not going to get away from it, but she says, I'm going to fight it. But she doesn't get away from it. Mm-hmm. So some people, they want to stay into stay in it and prove to themselves, like, I'm not going to be this person to get abused. Yet they don't get away from it. So I can mm-hmm. see both sides, how someone might like a bad boy. And, and you know, the, the movies are full of the teenage or the 20-something or the 30-something girl um, and she's dating this nice guy, but then this guy drives up and he's on a motorcycle yeah. Yeah, and right. he says, Hey baby, I'm not ringing the doorbell of your house. You're going to come <laughs> out when I honk the horn. Exactly. I know I'm showing know my age, about. right? I, know true. I get it. You know I get it. Yes. Yeah. So, so Eric, are you going to be a, a good guy? Uh, in the play or just in general? Well, both uh, really. Uh, um, yeah, I'm a good guy in real life. Okay. Um, my sweetheart. character, who is Lamar Nelson, and he plays Pops, and he's just trying to do the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. He is trying to do the right yeah. thing. We can't give you too much. No, no, no <laughs> I don't want you to. But um, it, it does sound like it's something that, you know, you definitely a story that you can tell over and over again. Um and hopefully we'll be able to raise enough money on July 20th where you can um, put the show out on the road and travel to different areas to get the message out. So if people want to buy tickets for the show, at a showtime that's open to the public is Friday, July 20th. And should they buy them through the Sunrise? Well, they have two options. They can either buy them from the Sunrise, which are available online or at the box office, or they can call or they can get them from us um, at our new location, proud to say. Um, And that is it. Um, Well, I'll give you the number so that we'll know, but it's 772-924-0470. And we are located at 804 South 6th Street. Okay, so and we'll write that information down. So if people were listening um, and they didn't get that information, we'll have it for you. We'll um, run it on um, the picture that goes on on YouTube, and then we'll also have it here for you. And um, you can call. People can call during the week during the regular. Uh, working hours here at the radio station, and we can pass along those phone numbers for you. Okay, thank you. Um, and do you have a Facebook event, too, that people can look at? Yes. Awesome. Of course, yes, we do. And yeah. um, our Facebook is um, Endit Corp, E-N-D-I-T-C-O-R-P. 
So you can like their Facebook Facebook page, and then I'm sure there's going to be future shows. Absolutely. Uh, both for A Broken Chain and for something that you may be tackling next. Yes, and, and Daddy isn't quite gone. We're still getting requests for that. So Yeah. Uh, so, uh, if kids want to be a part of End It, how do they do that? Yes, please. Um, thank you. Because, <laughs> um, yes, we want to have um, enough actors to keep doing these great things and even have backups. Um, so, they should. They can also go to our Facebook. We're on every social media that teens are, um, that we can think of or that they've let me on to. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> at sign End It Corp, E-N-D-I-T-C-O-R-P. We also have a website, and that is everybodyisnotdoingit.org. It's spelled out. Spelling, all spelled out. Okay. Everybodyisnotdoingit.org. Um, or the same phone number. Um, just contact us. Um, right now we have a summer program going, a summer camp, and it's actually the high schoolers in our summer camp that is doing a broken chain. So um, along with our new location, we are also, uh, for the first time, we have um, – year-round funding from the Children's Services Council, so thanks to them. We do have a summer program um, for middle schoolers and high school. It's arts-based and is, um, I think it's pretty active. It keeps you all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and we actually um, have their cell phones all day with no complaints, so you know it's got to be good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I would say so. <laughs> That's a big surprise because people – the especially well any age now seems to be attached to their cell phone be attached. we keep them busy and then of course they're making um, great connections with each other and they're being so creative they're oh my goodness so I think creativity sometimes they didn't even know they had whether it's singing um, but we're um, in an environment where it's positive and they support each other um, they don't feel bad about trying new things so we do still have some openings at our summer camp and then uh, in the fall, we will have an after-school program as well. Okay. And the phone number, um, again, we'll put that on uh, the screen, and then we'll also have it here for anybody who needs it. Um, for this show, A Broken Chain, um, you also are still looking for sponsors. Absolutely. And how? what will people get in return for their sponsorship, and uh, how – do they, do they call the same number for sponsorships? Yes, they can call the same number, and um, we are offering, we have tables, information tables that are there. That's one form of sponsorship. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have uh, playbills with our, our shows. I mean, they're really nice, and we would like to be able to put ads in there. We can um, sponsor ads in there. We also will put them on our banner, our website, and then also shout them out on social media. Um, as far as our facility, we're also still looking for sponsors there. We have, um, for example, a, um, a, a music studio, which someone sponsored, um, and uh, it's called Sponsor a Room. So for $1,000 they sponsor that room, their name goes on there. Mm -hmm. And um, we also have our visual arts room. Uh, someone has sponsored, but we're still looking for a sponsor for our graphic design room as well as our performing arts room so that we can update the stage and different things like that and and then you know more and more in today's school some of the arts um, things are being cut back or the yes. equipment may not be as up to date mm -hmm. as we'd like and um, this is an opportunity for kids to uh, be a part of that in either a summer camp or an after-school program yes and you have these beautiful postcards that if somebody wants to put some out at their place of business yes. for you, yes, um, they can put them out and advertise the show or advertise other shows that are going to be coming up. So, so what are your plans for the next big show? Do you have any thoughts, any ideas, anybody? Not quite yet. That's usually kind of like a, like a team discussion, yeah. you know, to kind of see sometimes they can make me aware of things out there that, you know, we wouldn't know, you know, or, or we don't understand how big it is, you know, or how much of a problem of it, a problem it is. Um, so we kind of communicate as a team and decide, okay, where are we going to go next and, and how do we want to do it? So Yes, because just because we as adults think it's a problem doesn't mean it necessarily is a problem. Or there's a bigger problem that we didn't know. Or, or there's, <laughs> there's a, yeah, a big mm -hmm. problem that we didn't even realize 
was a problem. I, I love the fact that this is youth driven, mm -hmm. you know, that this is something that they're doing that is something that's um, on their own. Um, well, the show is called A Broken Chain, and it is the next show that End It is presenting. It is Friday, July 20th, and it's a live teen drama on uh, teen dating. So it's teens producing it and teens acting in it and talking about teens. Yes. And the tickets are available for $15 plus the $3 box office fee at the Sunrise Theater or through the End It Corporation. And then there's also an opportunity for summer camps to come. They just have to call and make reservations ahead of time. That's correct. For their students. Yes. Uh, does that cover just about everything? Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to add? I just want to say that it is worth your time to come and see it. It's a big issue that we need, you know, to spread more and talk about. And it feels good to be the person communicating that, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, think about the fact that you're changing people's lives. Mm -hmm. So, um, Cliff, is that all the time we have today? Uh, we're, we're still got 30 minutes. Uh, I thought we were doing a 25-minute show. Yeah, we can do another, we can do a, we can do another 30, 45 minutes. Okay, well... <laughs> Sometimes you just, you know, have to remind the boss. You know yes. how that goes, yes. right, Sonia? <laughs> boss is busy, yes. Okay. Um, so, anyhow, uh, A Broken Chain is, is again, the next show the, brought to you by the people who did Daddy. And I'm really excited to see this one, too. It's definitely uh, something that even I knew was out there. Uh, well, it's a issue that is out there for adults as well, but you don't think about the fact that it it trickles down to the teenagers. To the teens, exactly. And yeah. One in three. One in three is yes. the statistics, yes. which which means if you count three people, mm -hmm. that one of them is involved in some kind of teen dating. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being on my show. Thank you for thank having you. us. Thank you. Sonia and Tiana and Eric have been here. You've been listening to the Sue Ellen Sanders Show. We're here every week with information that you need to know or may want to know. I'll see you next week with more. The Sue Ellen Sanders Show. For each week right here on WPSL. Archives of the show can be found on WPSLTV.com on YouTube.